Welcome to day 40 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Dear and today we are going to sort through our thoughts and consider just how useful they are. Before we get going today, you will need a piece of paper and something to write with, whether that's a pen or a pencil, because we're going to do a thoughts meditation and we're going to write what's in our head fresh from that. So we, we need to make sure that we've got that at the ready. So I'm going to put a pause on screen now so that you can go and get them. Off you go. Hopefully you're back with something to write with. Just push that to one side for now because we don't want it to distract us when we're actually doing our thought meditation. What I want to do today then is a thoughts meditation which is not too unlike the free thinking that we've done before where we're just going to kind of try and notice our thoughts from that distance. Remember we've spoken about thoughts being almost like a channel playing on the TV I want you to be on the sofa watching the TV rather than inside the TV and the thoughts themselves. So we want a little bit of distance so that we can watch them with curiosity. And that's what we're going to do in this activity. And then as soon as we're done, I'm going to give you a minute or so to write down three thoughts that came up for you. As usual, it's an eyes closed meditation and you can begin by bringing your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze and release. Make sure that you are upright and awake, that your back is straight, that your feet are on the ground, but make sure that your shoulders and arms and neck are nice and relaxed at the same time. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to close. Just begin by noticing your breath. Notice where you feel that in your face, in your throat, in your chest, in your belly. And then just allow your thoughts to drift. Allow them to drift. And remember that you're the observer. You're just going to watch your thoughts and notice what comes up. Where's your mind going? What kinds of thoughts are you having? Remember we said it's a little bit like watching a TV channel that you've turned on, you're sat on the sofa and you're just watching what's playing. You're just noticing what channel is playing. What's playing in your mind right now? Let's do three breaths to finish up. So breathe in and out. And in and out. And last one, breathe in, shoulders up towards your ears, big sigh out. And when you're ready, gently allow your eyes to open, come back into the room. Okay, before you've had time now to process that, before you've had time to talk to anyone, I want you to pick up that paper and pen or pencil nearby, and I want you to write down three thoughts that you noticed in your head. I am going to leave an example on the screen so that you can see what this might look like. But remember, this is a very personal experience to you. Your thoughts might not look like this. You just write down what you noticed. If you're struggling with this and you couldn't really make out what the thoughts were, 
then instead write down three thoughts that you've noticed today or this week. I'm going to put a pause on the screen and then just come back to this whenever you have got down those three thoughts. Off you go. Welcome back and well done for that because it's not easy to actually notice your thoughts to the point where you can write them down. So you're actually doing a lot for your emotional intelligence if you just did that bit on its own. I do want us to get a little bit more out of this today though and I want us to sort through our thoughts and decide what's useful, what's not useful at all and what's useful but not useful right now. Because let's be honest, thoughts are a little bit like things that go in our tray at school. We tend to save everything and then we get to the point where we can't even open our tray anymore because it's so full of junk. And if we save all of our thoughts, then we're going to end up in a situation like that where we can't perform basic functions. We can't open our tray at school because it's so full of useless thoughts that we don't need. So learning to actually look at your thoughts, to sort through them and decide which thoughts actually need to go in the bin or be put on the shelf for later, which thoughts are worth saving right now, that can be incredibly useful in sort of tidying up your mental space. So this is what I'd like you to do in the next and final bit of pause time. I would like you to either have a discussion with people nearby or if you're on your own you can do this jotting down notes or taking some thinking time. I would like you to sort through the example thoughts on the board, my three thoughts, and then I'd like you to have a go at doing yours. And if there's somebody near you, do theirs as well. Talk through it one turn at a time and decide in this situation right now, do I think this thought is useful? Useful, but not really right now. Or is it useless? Does it not have a use really? Should it go in the bin? Decide which box on screen those thoughts will go in. And it's not really about the answer here. It's more about your discussion and you making your case for why you think those thoughts should go where. Okay, so start with the examples and then go to yours and come back to me whenever you are ready. There's no real right or wrong answer here, but some of those thoughts will make you feel better and some will make you feel worse. And depending on the situation, that might be more obvious or less obvious. If I'm wondering what's for lunch, for example, and I'm in the lunch queue, then that's probably quite natural and normal and it's not really a distraction. If I'm wondering what's for lunch, however, and it's nine in the morning and I keep going back to that and it's distracting me from what I'm actually learning at, at, at that time, then that's probably something that's just not useful right now. I need to push it to one side and pick it up again later. If I'm having a thought that I'm tired, then again, that might be useful if it's eight o'clock at night and I'm telling myself I need to get ready for bed. That's quite useful then. But if I keep telling myself, "Ugh, I'm tired, Ugh, I'm tired again and again throughout the day, guess what? I'm probably going to make myself feel really tired. My body language is probably going to sink and I'm probably going to feel much worse for it. Today then, for your day 40 challenge, I want you to repeat what we just did with more of your thoughts. Whether you do that in a thoughts pop or a free thinking or a meditation or whether you just begin to notice your thoughts throughout the day, it does not matter. What I want you to do is try and take three more thoughts and decide are you going to bin them, are you going to keep them or are you going to put them to one side for later? I just want you getting more curious about what your thoughts are like during the day and how many of those thoughts are actually worth listening to. It really helps with this one to write down notes, I think. It really helps to actually write down what your thoughts are. 
and of course it always helps if you are comfortable to share with other people and to talk through like you just did why you think that thought is or isn't useful. You might also want to incorporate a number on the feeling scale to show how it felt when you were saving certain thoughts and how it felt when you actually started binning them. And of course, if there's anything you'd like to share with a wider audience, then give an adult a nudge. They can share to Twitter, Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag Mindful100. My details are on the screen. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.